What's up, my ninjas? I'm Strident, and it has finally happened. After all this time, after all these years, I finally finished Darkseid, the DCUC Collect and Connect Darkseid. Um, <clears throat> I was <clears throat> I was one of the first to get the original DC Superheroes one, which you're going to see here in a second. And I always was like, man, he seems too small. Even from the animated series, he seemed too small. He was too close to the regular size of the regular DC superheroes figures at the time. And even the DC UC figures that came later. And I was like, why don't they do a bigger one? Or how can I make a bigger one? Or maybe I'll wait till DC Collectibles, or at the time it was DC Direct, until they were going to make a new one. And, uh... Lo and behold, both Mattel did a new one, which was the Collect and Connect, but, you know, no matter what I did, for some reason, I couldn't get my hands on the final pieces to make this character until now. Um, I didn't really like the size of the DC Collectibles New 52 Dark Side. He's too big. He's way out of scale with the figures that he's supposed to go to, the collection he's supposed to go to, and I don't buy that he's supposed to be that large. I have the whole... New 52 Justice League, uh, you know, trade, and I have a few of those issues um, separately. I know based on the scale in the book, that's too much. And the one that Mattel, the New 52 Dark Side that Mattel released, is just a janky looking figure. This was where it was. You could clearly tell that this was done by the Four Horsemen, whereas the New 52 one by Mattel was done by their in-house. You know, I don't know, they're interns or something, because it, it doesn't look as uh, polished as this figure. This figure has all the menace and the power and all the uh, just bad attitude that Darkseid has. And I mean, if he's going to be one of the biggest villains that even Superman and the Justice League face, he has to look the part. He can't just be, you know, some big stone dude in a skirt. You know what I'm saying? He has to look like he loves torturing and beating the shit out of people and doesn't really <laughs> react to it, even though deep down in his core, it's it's moving and it's awesome and he loves to kill and hurt and see people suffer, you know? So this is the DC superheroes version. This came out way back in, uh, what was it, 03, I think it was, when the, the line started. And uh, he was part of the Superman portion, because what they did was they switched back and forth. I think they started way back when with a uh, Batman line. Then they beca it became the DC superheroes line, because then they switched to having a wave of Superman characters. Then they went back and forth, a Superman wave, Batman wave, Superman wave, Batman wave, whatever. And this was released way back when. So, you know, as you can see, I've been with Mattel on this since the beginning, you know? So, you know, it kind of pains me to see the whole thing go, but it kind of was going down the tube anyway, because as you guys know, DCUC is dead. So a lot of these reviews that I'm getting to are kind of in honor of the good old days of this this line, you know, that I, I've loved and been so vested in. But you can see, just based on that size comparison, the, the, the original Dark Side was just too small. But, you know, it's safe to say that they didn't know back then where they were going to end up going with it in the future. And, I mean, who knows that kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, at the time, it was a, a good uh, representation of the character because you can see all they did was kind of one-up or two-up the sculpt. And uh, they redid his face. But uh, it, was, it was good for the time. It just wasn't the right size. It wasn't the right scale. That would be a good scale for your 5-inch, you know, Total Justice figures or something. You know, and, and matter of fact, he's about the same size as that Total Justice figure. So, he had to go. This guy had to take his place. This monster that is Darkseid is the perfect, perfect height. Perfect, you know, build to torment your, you know, DC universe. Your, your figure form DC Universe and I love it I love it he's not too big he's not too small he's not bigger than everything he's bigger than some things because as you know Darkseid is not the biggest character in the DC you see so he should not have a figure that is the biggest in the uh, DC Universe so this is the old school 
Darkseid in comparison to Desaad. And you can see clearly he's pretty tiny. He doesn't look scary in comparison to Desaad. He just looks like, you know, <laughs> like any any regular dude, you know? And <clears throat> he's a little bit taller than Desaad. Desaad does have to look up to him, but he just doesn't look like Desaad should fear this guy. But when I look at this, you can see he's not just a head and shoulders. He's like a head, a torso and shoulders, you know, several heads taller and a whole torso taller. And he actually looks the part. And that's how Darkseid should be to his minion, Desaad, who, you know, is a little sniveling punk ass of an individual who will do anything that his boss and his lord and master says. You know what I'm saying? And I love that they, the Four Horsemen managed to capture this, you know what I'm saying? It's just, I've said you know what I'm saying too much, Jesus. Uh, it just feels right. Here he is next to the DC Superheroes Superman with a custom cape. I love the way these two look because, you know, at the time, I felt like this dark side was the right size for this Superman. But something in the back of my mind when I look at my books you know what I'm saying I could uh, <laughs> I could tell that that wasn't the case and uh, it's nice that they actually went ahead and did the update because now when you put the two next to each other it looks right I know you guys feel it you can see it it, it just it feels right dark side looks like a threat and that's the way it should be shouldn't be a question as to is this guy big enough is this guy mean enough looking is this guy tough enough looking does he look like he can overpower superman because that's one of the traits of dark side is he looks physically imposing and powerful whereas superman looks powerful and looks tough but not necessarily in comparison to every you know guy he may fight i really dig seeing these two posted up because you know that superman was the Superman that was at, at a point in time that was the best Superman that I had because I didn't have one by uh, DC Direct at the time so seeing him next to that dark side really makes me happy you know here is the uh, public enemies Superman standing side by side with the DC superheroes uh, dark side and as you can see that Superman also has a, a custom cape now you can once again see that now in modern times, the DCUC bodies, and this was the biggest buck we've gotten a Superman figure on from Mattel, you can see that the modern figures started to get taller. The base figures started to get taller and bigger, and you can see he's closer in height to the DC superheroes dark side, which shouldn't be. <laughs> now look at him compared to the Collect and Connect. I had to do all these comparisons because this was why I was so adamant about fi fixing and or, or finishing this figure because it just needed to be like this. As the song says, it has to be this way. And you know, I couldn't settle I couldn't settle for anything less. Here he is next to the Man of Steel uh, Superman figure with a custom cape as well this is something I hope that we get to see in the in the, the near future these two the scale is is awesome with them you can clearly see that Darkseid is towering over Superman you know if ands or buts about it he is towering over him it, it kinda makes me wish that they had gotten it right the first time so this scale could have wowed us you know from the from the giddy up but this is something I hope that we get to see because I love looking at it right here, you know? In figure form, is, this is an awesome little matchup. And as you can see, I am a bit of a Superman fan. Batman and Superman were my favorites growing up. As I got older, you know, there's some other characters that kind of took that spot. I, I, you know, these guys have their, you know, their legendary status, but, you know, there are others that have kind of moved to the forefront. Here is my first DC Direct figure ever. It was the Alex Ross justice uh, superman and you can see he's a little bit closer because dc direct figures are of a different scale dc direct dc collectibles different scale but uh still towering over him and this is what makes dark side an official badass villain 
Same goes for my DC Direct uh, JLA classified Martian Manhunter in the McGinnis style. I love this figure. To me, it's the best Manhunter figure that we had with that, rep you know, that style, the best representation of that old school costume in figure form. I mean, his musculature is awesome. His height is awesome because he towers over your DCUC figures and that works. But Darkseid still towers over him. And that's the way it should be, you know? Darkseid is the supreme badass villain. I can't stress it enough. And I know a lot of people complain about, you know, the difference or they try to be hardcore about the difference between DC collectibles versus DC UC or Mattel or DC whatever, uh, All Star, whatever they're calling their stuff at the time. But to me, certain characters need to fit their scale perfectly. I mean, here he is in comparison to Calabac. Calabac is a pretty big figure, but he's big in width, not necessarily in height, but even at his height, he does tower over some of the regular DCUC figures. And I love it. I mean, it looks, he looks right. He is kind of hunched over most of the time, and he has small legs, so standing up straight, he still would be shorter than his father, who tends to, you know, beat the shit out of him on a regular basis. You know, father, please, no, father, no, father, I'm sorry, father, I don't deserve this. <laughs> but, uh, I love it, I love it, I love it. I've been geeking out with this guy for quite some time, because I'm just kind of besides myself that I actually was able to get him, and, you know, complete everything. The, uh, here he is next to Stell, the Collect and Connect from that Green Lantern wave that we got a couple years back. And you can see Stell is one of the taller collecting connects. I want to say he's about the same height as Solomon Grundy, who I think is the tallest uh, collecting connect figure of all of the ones released. I could be off. It's either him or Metallo, but I want to say it's Grundy. But you see that he still looks imposing, even standing side by side with a character that's a lot bigger than he is, or taller than he is. Imperiex. Now this is a fight I would love to see. Have the League trick Imperiex into fighting Darkseid. I would love to see this. You know, a lot of people get hung up on villain or hero versus hero. Here's villain versus villain. And you would need someone with Darkseid's power level to actually stand up to uh, someone like Imperiex. And I, I think that'd be awesome. Maybe me and my son will play that sometime soon, you know? <coughs> Sorry. Still fighting this cold. Um, the, the sculpt, the sternness of that face, and then the imposing size. Even though they're pretty close in size with Imperiax being taller, just a little bit, it's still just awesome to see these two together. Now... As far as collecting connects go, usually they don't come with anything, but Darkseid actually comes with two accessories, and I thought that was awesome. He comes with a mother box, so you can create boom tubes, as you see in the background, and what fourth world character would be complete without a freaking mother box? You just have to have it, and it's a nicely uh, painted, nicely sculpted. I mean, at this point, if the horsemen do it, you know the sculpt is going to be official. And there's nothing you could possibly complain about. It's just going to be good. And as we get up close on this sculpt, you can see that it's extremely detailed, extremely well painted, especially for a mass uh, retail release. This was something that, you know, we found in retail. And uh, everything looks like SH Figuarts quality as far as the tiny little things that they painted, tiny little details and whatnot. And I'm pretty impressed about that, because usually that's not what we get. So uh, props to the Horsemen and props to Mattel for being able to pull that off in such a clean, a sharp and clean kind of way. Now, you see the one that came with the Mother Box that came with the original Dark Side from the Superheroes line. It wasn't really that... It was well sculpted, but it wasn't really painted anything fancy. And this is kind of more how it shows up in the comics. It's usually this gray um, metallic or silver or just grayed out 
block of you know circuitry with little details on it so and I hope they're holding it the right way I never could tell but I love it and it's cool that we have two now <laughs> super awesome he can store it on his back on that tiny little peg right there which is another awesome little touch because you do see a lot of the fourth world characters walking around with their mother boxes kind of sticking up off their belts the uh, mother box itself has a little notch that is exactly the same size or just a little smaller than that the, the little knob sticking off the edge and uh, you just put the two together and it holds tight and you know it looks official it doesn't look fake it doesn't look uh, 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 wrong in pictures it actually looks like it's meant to be there and it is you know and that's props to the horseman for that as for uh, his next accessory it's an alternate gauntlet I want to say it's the old school uh, agony matrix but I could be wrong I can't remember the proper name for it because it's been a long time since I've looked at a uh, fourth world anything you know those are old books I've the last time I looked at any of that stuff it was in the cartoon form when it was showing when he was showing up in Justice League and Justice League Unlimited so forgive me if I give the wrong names for that stuff but I think that is the agony matrix it kind of feels like a technological version of the infinity gauntlet minus the gems you know big gold glove but uh it's beyond well sculpted beyond well painted it's just and, and it's even well engineered you saw that knob that time that 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 thick uh ball for that that his hands sit on and that's really awesome that they did that because it's easier for you to pop that in place and uh it's easier for you to pop that out of place and then pop the new thing on place and it's secure and it doesn't look like any amount of stress that you're going to use or create putting this on and switching off and blah 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 is going to break that ball anytime soon so props to them for figuring that out because it gives us some kind of durability with our figure so that it's going to last you know even if he falls off your shelf and he hits his hands by some magical you know mystical uh, force of whatever he's not gonna die his hands not gonna pop off he's not gonna be a useless figure they built it so it's gonna be durable and it will last you and you won't have to worry and uh, I made these shots pretty long so you could really marvel at the amount of detail that went into this figure the sculpt is amazing the paint is amazing it's just well done plain and simple well done and these are the kind of things that I'm really gonna miss from figures I could get at retail now I have been on a kick where I've been uh, paying attention more so to DC collectibles because that's what we get now that's what's left and uh, Marvel select and occasionally Marvel Legends but this level of quality is I'm gonna miss it for retail figures you know because every now and then we got some pretty uh, well done pretty you know QC issues uh, void or, or, or you know devoid what am I trying to say some figures that were devoid of the QC issues that some of the other figures might have had so once again there's the knob there's the hole that uh, the hand actually you know pops in on and they go together perfectly <laughs> there's like no issues and he looks menacing with that extra hand the biggest thing about this uh, is these are just options for when you see dark side or you put your dark side up against the justice league or your superman or whatever dc heroes you may have this is a must have in my opinion for all dc uc collectors it just it has to be he is so well done such a step up from the original that was already almost perfect it's just the scale was off He's so well done and so perfectly painted, sculpted, and everything that you need to have this guy in your collection. Even more so than that giant monstrosity that DC Collectibles made for the New 52 to fight. That thing's too big. I mean, that thing's bigger than the Marvel Select Juggernaut. <laughs> so is Grundy. And I think they went a little overboard with the scale on those guys. This is where it's at. This is the right scale. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I'm Strider.
and this will be my dark side review. Or my DCUC Collect and Connect dark side review. I uh, hope you guys dug the review. Remember, this is a must have. This is like a 10 out of 10. Pick him up if you see him, complete him if you can, and uh, that I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Peace outside.